Good afternoon from Los Angeles, California. I'm Dr. Ryan Alva. Yeah, this seems like a stern warning by Hossein Salami, the commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, essentially Salami telling the anti-government protesters who've been demonstrating for almost six weeks now, no more, do not come out and protest, uh, otherwise there's going to be a price to pay. Now, it's not, it's not clear on the statement is the outcome of a strategy change by Iran security apparatus. It's not an indication uh, if they're going to get more aggressive or if it was just a unilateral statement by Salami, him expressing his frustration. What is clear is that the Iranian government uh, is frustrated by these demonstrations, even though the government has cracked down, even though the protests have seen peaks and valleys. They have uh, continued. Of course, Thursday, there was a big spike in protests. It was the 40th the day since the passing of Massa Amini, there was also a mass shooting at a holy shrine in Shiraz where 15 people killed. The government government calling it a terrorist attack, trying to link that shooting to the anti-government protest. And overnight on Friday, you had more protests in Zahedan and the Kurdistan region, where according to a rights group, a hospital was attacked by security forces uh, and also a, a school dormitory. To support my work, please click the subscribe, the like button and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my new videos.